once again, offset for the next bout, to move that side. And so, we are getting ready for the next bout of the uh, evening. It's a middleweight contest scheduled for eight rounds, and we have Obodai Sai taking on Jadida Doku just before we join Mohamed Amin Lamte and the next bout. I've been joined in commentary position by Mr. Fadi Fatal and, of course, the man behind the resurgent boxing fraternity as the president of the Ghana Boxing Federation. And, uh, gentlemen, first of all, a belated Merry Christmas, but a prosperous Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So, let's talk boxing now. And there's a, there's a new wave that's going to be happening in boxing uh, very, very soon. And it involves the GBA and IMAX media. It's a development program. It's going to, it is going to scan over a five-year period. But for me, the highlight is the Ghana Professional Boxing League. I'll start with you, President. What led to this marriage? Well, uh, I think once again, I would like to thank everybody, the Ibiza and also the, uh, the TV station now. Uh, it's so been it's a exhibition for the GBA for a very long time. You know, it was a long time that uh, a boxing league like this. We are churning out we what we will want to call worthy world champions. Are we on the right track as far as the GBA is concerned? Yes, with the GBA, we are on the right track and uh, we are working closely. As I said, we have uh, 12 teams in place. We are putting up uh, 40 boxers in this particular league and we are putting in the best you know, to, to, to come out to want to be uh, The difference between the 16 years ago league and is now, is yeah, it's, it's the big difference. You know, we have the uh, IMAX the media, the this is the boxer who is making his second We are also focused on the professional. You can see with the, from the GBA point of view, yeah. uh, uh, and lost let me say, presenting to you five days in office. We are able to bring in the new professional. Uh, uh, national we titles, we were able to get a, 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 a car for the GBA, yeah. we it's put up the, the website for the GBA. So the current GBA is, is out there working very hard. And within a short time, we were able to make this deal with a company like Imus Group. It is not easy, it has been a hard working behind the scene by myself as a president and my team we decided to give boxing a new face and that is what we did. Well, that's a bold initiative taken there by the GBA and we, do, we doff our hearts for this partnership but if I spend just a few minutes with uh, Mr. Fadi Fatal, Fadi this, this is going to come with a lot of investment I'm sure it also comes with a lot of planning, a lot of programming, a lot of production. What again pushed IMAX Media to partner the GBA in this laudable quest to churn out boxing and bring it back to the level it used to be? Okay, Prince. Uh, thank you very much. As we at IMAX Media Group, we are very happy, delighted to be part of this uh, uh, partnership with the Ghana Boxing Authority. We believe in the Ghana Boxing Authority, a new uh, uh, face of the authority and as well we believe that uh, bringing back this uh, novel idea will basically be the stage for where the champions will be born or will be basically submitted to the higher level so that's why we are coming together we want to invest with the GBA we want to take uh, this uh, sports which is uh, not just a sport it's a religion to us I see okay but talking about the investment and the viewers, uh, we, did, we need to let you know that the current fight that you see uh, underway is the uh, bout between Obodai Sai and Jadida Doku. Obodai Sai is in the grey and black front seat on the right hand side of your picture, and then Jadida is uh, in the uh, black trunk. So Obodai came into this fight at a weight of 164 pounds, one pound short of uh, Jadida uh, Doku. But Obodai has been 
a forerunner when it comes to development of boxing, especially at the middle weight category. He had one important fight in Ghana, which would have taken him straight to the top of the uh, uh, ladder in terms of the world title. Fell short in that regard, but he's not given up boxing, not just yet. He's got lots of rich experience to also uh, impart on the younger generation of boxers that are coming. This bout put together by Kabik Boxing Promotions has brought them both the experience at the very aged level, and we saw two brothers fight at the middleweight level, and now we're seeing what we can say contemporary middleweight uh, boxes you see on your screen. And you're going to be seeing a lot more of such quality fights when the Ghana Professional Boxing League hits your screens next year. We can tell you for a fact that after January, all you need to do is to ensure that you make a date with your TV screen and on the days and times announced, just as back in the day when there used to be one, we are going to bring you the best when it happens to boxing. Bringing the best also means that there's going to be production, there's going to be uh, some costs attached to it. How does IMAX Media visualize all these things, including boxer spaces, etc., etc.? So uh, our package has been announced officially uh, during the launch is uh, 340,000 US dollar annually, which comes with a five years contract of 1.7 million US dollars. Okay. And basically this will go into four stages. First stage is basically uh, taking care of all staging of the event, uh, from passes uh, to uh, referees, judges, ring, uh, PA system, light, etc. The second stage will be basically about producing the live uh, uh, fight night, which will basically to be every other week, and we're gonna have, uh, uh, you know, all our facilities like our OB vans, uh, 20 people on the ground. We're gonna have uh, graphics, slow motion, and all other interesting things that uh, with the new technology and HD broadcast. Apart from that, we'll be as well uh, promoting the GBA on a daily basis. In uh, February, if all things go well. GBA would bring a lot of uh, spotlight on its boxes. 12 gyms will be in action. And so every two weeks, you are guaranteed some rich boxing bouts. Okay, so finally, before I let you go, I'll take the last word first of you from uh, uh, Mr. President. Obviously, this comes with a lot of motivation on the GBA. In your first few months, years, and up to the time you finish your first term, where do you want to see GBA? What role are you looking at GBA play? Especially, well, let me pause for here now because Jadida has gone down. He's going to take the mandatory uh, eight counts. Flurry of punches from Obodai's side. Can he handle it? He's gone down. He's up on his feet. He says he can continue. And so uh, let's see whether he can. He doesn't look too good, but he says he'll box, so we'll continue. So where do we want to see GBA in the next couple of years, especially with this partnership with IMAX Media? Well, uh, we want to see the Ghana Boxing Authority at the top level. And uh, that has been my vision. Uh, when I was the uh, vice president, uh, it has been my dream that one day I'll take the leadership of the Ghana Boxing Authority and put it at the top level. And if uh, I have 157 days as I'm speaking here, and I'm already there because I, I, I just, uh, if you look at my, 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 my agreement with the company I choose, it's not, not, not just a company. IMAX Media is a, is a top company. Yeah. It's, uh, it's one of the, the biggest that we have in Ghana now. And... Uh, they are doing it with football sure. and I know that they can do it with Ghana boxing. Okay. So I took my time very well and I make a good decision and I know we are going to be at the top. And a good aspect of this is uh, I know I'm going to spend four years in office but I try to make my contract five years uh, in case I have to continue or whoever takes care of me will still see the, the league going on. Uh, it tells you that I want to, I want to put in the, a vision. Yeah. Uh, I'm not looking at my term in office alone, mm. but I'm trying to extend it. Exactly. And so for me, uh, I know boxing is going to be at the top level, 
Uh, I've always said that the boxing is the number one sport. It is. Uh, because uh, I can boast of uh, 10 world titles. Exactly. None of the disciplines can boast of uh, two or three, yeah. but it's only boxing. So we, we are trying to package ourselves well. Okay. And when we package ourselves well, we know we get the corporate bodies rushing to us. And this time, uh, it's not going to be like the normal uh, 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 corporate bodies coming on board yeah. and they don't benefit. Yeah. We, we are trying to let them know that boxing is business. It's so let's go back into the ringside and Mohammed Amin Lamte will tell us what the verdict is. By a technical knockout in round number three, the boxer from the blue corner failed to respond to the ball. Let's put us together and welcome the winner, the boxer, who is also known to be called the miracle, Awada Sai. Thank you very much. So we are breezing up, counting down to the main event of the evening, RBO Light Flight Weight Championship of the World. Now let's move over to...